The snare can be broken down into four main frequency zones. The first one is the low end from 50 to 350 Hz. The critical area here is the all-important body between 120 and 350 Hz. This contains the weight and gut punch of a snare. To increase the weight, add 1 to 2 decibels using a parametric EQ sweep to identify the punch frequencies. Below around 90 Hz, the sound is often made up of unwanted noise and rumble that muddies a mix and interferes with the kick. Use a shelving low cut filter to roll away below 70 to 100 hertz. Exactly where will depend on the drum. Cut higher up in the spectrum between 220 and 250 hertz for a thinner crisper snare. The second frequency range is the mid-range, from 350Hz to 1kHz. The lower part of the range, from 350Hz to 500Hz, can be boxy and often benefits from a slight cut. The third frequency range of a snare is the upper mid-range, from 1 to 4.5kHz. Here lies the crack, the sharp attack sound that gives the snare its definition. Avoid significant boosts and cut to reduce harshness. The last frequency range of a snare is the high end, from 4.5 kHz and up. Presence dominates the lower part of this range, with air around 10 kHz. Concentrate energy here if you need a snare to cut through a top-heavy mix, but be careful, too much mid and high end on a snare can hurt.